Yes, indeed. The reason we are here at Westminster in basking sunshine is because Boris Johnson will become the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. We're going to keep you abreast of all the comings and goings. Uh, what we're looking towards is Theresa May. Uh, she will be outgoing, of course, giving her last Prime Minister's questions uh, also in the coming hours, and then we'll take you through it step by step. But I want to bring you first Dr Lee Jones, a reader in politics, and he's a specialist at Mary, Queen Mary University in London. Thanks very much for coming down to us. So as you look at this day, what is your overriding feeling? That we're nowhere nearer to leaving the European Union by the 31st of October. I don't think we'll be any closer by September, October either. So the political crisis around Brexit is set to continue. And, you know, Mr Johnson, he, that's really what he campaigned on. I think that's really how he got uh, Conservative Party members to vote him in yesterday, to elect him to head off the party, uh, was that he has insisted he can deliver it by October 31st. Why do you not believe him? I just think it's not true. So he's got three options. One is that he can pursue minor amendments to the withdrawal agreement. The EU will do that, but Parliament won't support that, and he said he won't do that. The second is that he can pursue a new kind of Brexit deal, and that's what he says he wants to do, and that's probably what he'll spend the summer trying to do, but the EU won't do that. So the third is that he can pursue actively no deal, but I don't think he wants to do that. The British state is not ready for it, and Parliament certainly isn't ready for it. And I think what we have to be prepared for is, come September, October, is we have a Remainer Parliament. It will rebel against implementing any form of Brexit, I think. So there will be a massive crisis in the autumn and quite probably a general election. You think possibly a general election. Let's mention um, there is this form of proroguing, it's called, it's really about suspending Parliament if, in fact, the Parliament was very much against a no deal. He could force it through. I know he has said there is not an appetite for that, but some political commentators are feeling mid-October something like that could possibly come into effect. You think that's off the table? I don't think it's very likely. It would be very damaging for British democracy if it happened. I mean, you do have a difficulty in that Parliament is not enacting the expressed will of the people. That's the fundamental problem around Brexit. Um, but it's not right to just um, basically prorogue Parliament and push it through anyway. That would be, I think, very damaging. And I don't think that there's very much support in Parliament for that to happen. It would be very risky. And I don't think Boris Johnson has the personal authority and the political capital, really, to push forward uh, such a radical move. The same with No Deal. He just doesn't have the, the authority and standing to do it. It would take somebody of much greater stature and political skill, I think. Although he is the person that people have chosen, in fact, uh, really before Theresa May came in and we've been looking at pictures of 10 Downing Street, uh, before she came into the office, he was a person that was considered the potential. And some people feel uh, that he's finally fulfilling that ambition that he has held some sense since he was a small child. Yeah. Uh, people feel he has good cheer, that he has uh, uh, an authority and a charisma that Mrs May lacked. Do you believe it's the backstop, uh, basically, which is talking about a border between Northern Ireland and the Republic, Do you, or ensuring that there would not be one, is what the backstop uh, iterates? Do you think that will be his sticking point? Well, maybe it will, and in which case then he'll get nowhere, because the EU is not going to drop its requirement of the backstop. I mean, that is the huge sticking point. Um, that was why Theresa May's deal could not get through. He faces exactly the same parliamentary arithmetic as Theresa May, so he will not be able to get a deal through with the backstop. The EU will not accept a deal without the backstop. OK, talking about arithmetic, she was in for three years and uh, about 10 days, 11 days, if we include today. Um, what about uh, Mr Johnson? You think that there will be an election not that far away. What would your odds be and for when? Oh, I think probably in the autumn. I mean, there, there's a, a small possibility he could face a no-confidence vote tomorrow. That could be a no-confidence vote tomorrow? That could be tabled tomorrow. The Labour Party could table a no-confidence vote. And if an, enough people defect from the DUP or the Tories, it's possible that his government will face an immediate crisis. Not very likely, I think. Um, but certainly, I think, come uh, September, he could face an early uh, no-confidence vote. And I think as we get towards the, the Brexit uh, deadline, Parliament will just do everything it can to prevent the UK from leaving and will try to push the country towards a general election then. Lee Jones, that's your prediction mm. for what's coming in the coming months, but we're going to hear lots of different voices as we continue to tell you about our top story, which is Boris Johnson taking over as British Prime Minister in just a few hours' time, inheriting that Brexit crisis as we have been talking about. Stay with us on BBC World News.